If you're tired of the glass vases you have at home, we've got a great DIY to give them a refresh. So Monique is going to show us how to turn those boring old vessels into faux ceramic masterpieces. Before we start, here's what you'll need. You need a glass vase, some clay, an acrylic roller, clay cutter, ruler, or knife, acrylic paint, baking soda, an old cookie cutter or glass, sandpaper, hot glue gun, and a cookie sheet lined with a parchment paper. Okay, we've got all the goodies, Monique. This sounds like a really fun way to upcycle yes. some old vases. <laughs> Yes, so I took a stab at some faux pottery, and I say that because I know my strengths, and pottery is not it. <laughs> so if you're like me, and in that same space, this is the DIY for you. We are making these faux pottery vases. And so the first step that we, we have in this DIY is we wanna go ahead and cut our handles. So if you see this detail on the side, we're gonna go ahead and roll out our clay. So I have our clay here that I got at my local craft store. And you just go ahead and take your acrylic roller and roll out your clay, just like so. And I like using dowels as guides. Um, the, the handles that I'm cutting out, they're about a quarter inch in thickness. So I went with dowels that are that same size and if you have books at home those will work for you as well and so you just go ahead and roll it out until you see it smooth then you want to go ahead and cut your circle so i'm using a cookie cutter i'm using an old cookie cutter that we have on hand i'm using that circle because we're going to be cutting them in half you just take your cookie cutter and then you place it in the middle of your clay and you just press you have to work quickly. Does that clay get really dry if you don't work fast enough? No, actually this is amazing because it actually hardens only when you bake it. So this is a clay that you will be baking, yes, so for, to harden it. So that's the great thing about it. Now with that cookie cutter, Mo, if at home right. I don't have a specific yep. uh, cookie cutter, can you use whatever you've got at home? Yeah, you can use what you have at home. So we mentioned that you can use glasses if we're going with the circles on this side. If you want to use some different shapes, you can get creative. For example, if you want to use diamonds or something, but you have to be cognizant as well as the vase that you're working with that you want to ensure you, you take into account the edge that you have. So because we're working on the cylinder, the cylinder type vase, we're going to go with something with a flat edge. And so in order to achieve that, we go ahead and cut our clay, our circles, into the half moons and so also depending on the size of your vase so for example i have this tall one i cut out four circles so just be cognizant of the amount of circles that you'll need for this small one i only ended up cutting out two of them so we have one two that are already glued on there so once you get that cut out you have it like this Okay, now we've got to put them mm -hmm. onto that vase. And then, How do you do that? So once you bake them, I baked mine for about 20 minutes and then let them cool. Once they're hardened and you're good to go, you're gonna go ahead and glue them on. And so you're gonna be using your glue gun with your hot glue, and then you just add your glue to the edge, boom. And then starting from the bottom of the vase, you're going to then glue it on, okay? Just like so and just hold it there while it cools and dries. And then I had one side completed before, but once you have your one side done, you just go ahead and work on the opposite side. This is where the magic happens. And this is where you're gonna finish off your vase with painting. And so I have some acrylic paint here and it's not just your traditional acrylic paint. So you get the acrylic paint and you you squirt some out there, but to get that pottery texture, you're gonna to wanna to add some baking soda. Keep an eye on it. You'll be able to see the texture as you pour it in. So that's where you're gonna get that grainy texture and finish that makes it look like the pottery. So that's the secret, that's the trick there. How long does mm -hmm. it take to dry? Uh, it takes a few hours to dry. So it's still the acrylic paint that you're, you're working with. So it actually dries fairly quickly over a few hours. So I suggest going over that at least two or three coats mm -hmm. for sure to ensure because you are painting on the glass so it can be a little see-through. So you want to make sure that each time you draw those coats dry, you take a look, maybe add about two or three coats on there until you're finished. 
So you've got the beautiful one that you finished that you showed us as the demo. That's the finished mm -hmm. product and it's gorgeous. You've also yes. got other variations uh, of vases using the same technique you want to show us, right? Yes, exactly. So I have this one, for example. So it was this little vase that had the little ball at the bottom. And what I did is I actually ended up cutting out using two cookie cutters. I had the big one uh -huh. and then I cut in the middle for a little one. And then what I did is I took that and then I made it into a little ring. And then it's the same thing, gluing it on and then painting it. So there's that style there. And then if you just rather not go through the whole clay bit, you could just paint a vase. I mean, we have so many of these. Our parents have them from parties that we go to and we get the centerpieces. They're hanging around, they're around. So <laughs> these are great ways to, as opposed to having them sitting in the basement, you can bring them up and then, you know, make them modern. So cute. All of these DIYs have me wishing I was a little more crafty. My daughter's forcing me into being a crafty mom, but trust me, it's not my nature. I want to know how crafty you all are. We want you to show us your DIYs. Share them with us on Facebook, Twitter, or by emailing us at submissions at cityline.tv. I will put them on the show um, and show off for you.